So for everybody setting up their Kaizenify dashboard, but you do custom work, not um, number of things like us, like doors that you could just count every day, we're gonna show you how to set up a point system, not a piece system in Kaizenify, uh, but it works like a charm. So let's go. All right, everybody who is trying to do their dashboard, we're gonna walk through this job together and show you how we would calculate points. Now, we're gonna do this in two separate ways and we can uh, discuss each one or do the one that you prefer in the end. So this job we're gonna say is worth $15,000 and we have uh, $6,000 worth of material that needs to come out and then that's going to leave us with 9,000 throughput dollars. Now we have to establish our point system. So let's just say one point, and this is probably going to be good for cabinet shops equals $100. So that leaves us here with a total of 90 points. when this job is done. So let's just have a quick look at this job. Um, it's just three elevations of a kitchen with an ensuite and a laundry and a an, uh, bathroom. Um, pretty, pretty typical stuff. There's the elevations where we can uh, count our boxes. There's looks like the laundry, uh, bathroom and ensuite. And then I've added something here. Um, these are very technical drawings coming out of our engineering department. I just wanted to show that if we had some crazy features, um, so a range hood, a wine rack, and some funky light valances, like things that are gonna go basically to your custom department, um, we wanted to rope in some of that. So that's stuff that's gonna go to your custom department um, and that's it and that's the whole job. So now the trick is to look at each thing and assign some points. And this doesn't have to be that technical because as long as all of the points are accounted for when the job is done, we're okay. So we just need to randomly go through here and let's say, okay, this hood is about a thousand bucks we're gonna give this hood 10 points. Then the, the light valance is, is maybe 400 bucks. So we're gonna give this four points. And then the, the wine rack um, is maybe 600 bucks. And so this is gonna get six points. And so that's how we're gonna divvy up that. So here in our custom department, we've got a total of 20 points being distributed and then we just need to go back through our drawings and understand how many cabinets are here um, and so we just need to count those now that doesn't look like there's any upper cabinets in in these elevations so really we can probably just count them off of here and just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten cabinets on that elevation and where's that bathroom and ensuite? Here we go. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cabinets. So this job has 16 cabinets, a range hood, a wine rack and a light balance. And so we just go back to our, our cover sheet here and we say we have 16 cabinets and we have a total of, uh, what did we say, 90 points, 20 points went to the custom stuff. So we have 70 points to divide by 16. So now we just pull out our trusty calculator and go 70 divided by 16 equals 4.3 points per cabinet. Now, 
that's too hard to push the button on the timer. So we're gonna say four points per cabinet, and then we're gonna take the point three, so we're gonna go 16 times four is 64. So we're actually allocating 64 points here. So we're gonna take those other six and put them into the custom stuff and bury those points over there so that they're accounted for. Right here, we can just say, okay, this is gonna be 12 points now, this is gonna be eight points now, and this is gonna be six points now. And so now we've got 26 points being calculated for our custom stuff and 64 points for cabinets. So 26 over here for custom. And that gives us our 90 points. So it's that simple. Then you just write on the print here for each cabinet, four points, and then the custom guys can see their drawings with how many points that they're gonna check off, and done deal. It's that easy. Now that we figured this out once, let's do it again, just a little bit different. That might make it easier for your estimating department in that maybe because a cabinet is a cabinet, um, you could just say, listen, regardless of the job and regardless of how it's done, all the rest of it, every cabinet is just going to be four points. So what ends up happening is your assembly department will just get used to that. Every time they do a cabinet, they'll go over to the production timer and they'll hit the button four times. And that's just standard across the board. And then, so what I would do in this case is I would count all the cabinets. So we've got 16 cabinets. We're doing four points a cabinet. That gives us 64. So before I even think about all of the custom stuff, I'm just gonna go, well, I have 64 points of a 90 point job. I have 26 left. So I would go over here and I would just go backwards. I'd say I have 26 points and then I would bury those points inside of the custom stuff. It's all gonna work out in the wash, but you just wanna give people the uh, ability to track their stuff daily. So here we go, we have 26 points, and then we just divide it up based on how much work we think each custom part is, and as long as we get 26 points there, we're good to go. So two ways of getting to the same number, but that's how you would track your points instead of pieces. Now you go into Kaizenify, go here, dashboard overview. You click on that, you go here to daily operations. You click on that. Now you've got your daily operations and you go to here, pieces made, and you enter the points made for that day. Not the pieces, the points. And so if you have 100 points made that day at $100, those are already calculated as throughput dollars. So that also gives you that number. So you're getting a two for one. So you put 100 points here and you'd put 10,000 up here. And then that will populate your uh, your dashboard. That will populate your over the line chart right here. So then those numbers will appear here on your over the line chart. Then if you go back into your, uh, your daily operation screen, this number will be filled out. This number is the only other thing you now need to calculate. So you just put how many people were on the shop floor or in your whole organization for that day. Uh, this is your points already made. This number, sorry, the hours worked will be calculated automatically from that. And then if you just fill in your ready to build, um, that will populate your entire dashboard. 
So it's not a lot of entry. And then you get all of your graphs and settings program. So there you have it. As you can see, getting that Kaizenify dashboard up and running is as easy as pie, even when you're doing custom work. Not a whole lot of work for the estimating department. They've already got all the numbers and not a whole lot of work to enter at the end of the day, but you sure get a whole lot of information.